because it's a C. How can it's a C can improve my body? Now, for two weeks, I took the medicine. I got my improvement very good. Just three medicine only, three type of medicine. Mana plus, Smalu, and fish oil. Now I'm working, I'm doing every job which I can. So I really thank him upon my heart. Thank you, Prof. So this is a true story, a living testimony. What words, words cannot speak much, but an audiovisual effect has more effect. So we are not, we are just speaking with authority where AK's capsules are concerned. And let it be our vision that everybody can take it and be healthy and have a good lifestyle. The other story I'm going to tell you is about Uma. Um, Uma Maheswari. She's not here. She's a young girl, so she's a bit shy. Now, Uma Maheswari was born on, in the year 1977. At the age of 21, in 1988, she was diagnosed as SLE. The medical students will know what SLE is. Systemic lupus erythromatosis. Now, <clears throat> This is an autoimmune disease, wherein the body doesn't recognize its own self. So it starts producing antibodies to fight against these <coughs> tissues in the body. And this can cause a lot of inflammation, what we, we doctors call as vasculitis, all over the tissues and the organs of the human body. Usually we find it is young women who are mostly affected. 20 to 30 years, 90 percent. Now, what are the precipitating factors that bring about this SLE? One is ultraviolet rays, the other is pregnancy and infection. Now, why would all this cause this problem? Now, in medical terms, Oxidative stress, this causes apoptosis, cellular death. And because of this, you get immune complex formation, which results in vast vasculitis. So can you imagine a situation where all your tissues, your vessels, your organs are getting inflamed. How horrible it can be. So what do you think you can expect with this sort of an inflammation. Okay, classically, SLE, you get what is known as a Raynaud's phenomena where your fingers turn blue when you touch different temperatures. The famous rash called the butterfly rash is seen on the cheek, but not, does not involve the nasal the bridge, the nose. Okay, now this rash can be in various forms, okay? Um, the other one is called, there are three types of SLE we have noted. One is systemic lupus erythromatosis, discoid lupus, and neonatal lupus. Now because of this inflammation, they can get preangual inflammation, you know, erythromatosis, a preangual erythroma, now, how do you think this will affect the rest of the system? The kidneys, they will undergo proliferative glomerular nephritis, which will later give rise to renal failure. Cardiovascular system, imagine the inflammation that goes on in the heart. They get pericarditis, myocarditis, endocarditis. This can cause non-infective vegetations on the valves and uh, that causes a lot of trouble for the patients. What do you think will have this inflammation cause in the lungs? They will get pneumonitis, lung fibrosis. 
This can precipitate difficulty in breathing and a lot of discomfort. Now, the CNS, that's the brain. What do you think will happen there? The patient will feel tired, exhausted, headaches, poor concentration. This is known as cerebral lupus, where they can get fits, they can get psychosis, they can get hallucinations, meningitis. So you see, all organ systems are affected in SLE. Now, how do we diagnose this SLE? One, by their symptoms. I didn't think, uh, now, what do you think would cause possibly happen in the blood system? Um, you see, the red blood cells will be decrease anemia, the platelet counts will be decreased thrombocytopenia, and you can get hemolytic anemia, and the white blood cells will also decrease and get leukopenia. The most diagnostic factor is the anti-nuclear antibodies, anti-DNA antibodies, which help the doctors to diagnose this case with these clinical symptoms and signs. What do we doctors do when we see these cases? First, we educate the patient, don't go in the sun. You know, we explain all the complications that can possibly happen with SLE. Now, when you, they will come to a life-threatening situation. Then we have to use high doses of steroids, methylprednisolone, after the cyclophosphamide, and after two to three months of treatment when they signs and symptoms decrease, we put them on maintenance doses. We also use immunosuppressive drugs like ISL, azathioprine, methotrexate, etc. This you'll find in your medical textbooks. You can go and look at it, students. Now I'm going to talk about micronutrients, Dr. Aki's magical capsules. When this girl who was so young, when in renal failure, she had hemodialysis. Then she came to see Professor Ananda Krishnan. He put her on Manna Plus, Masamalu, and iron tablets because the girl was anemic, six grams, was a HP level. Well, the magic took place again. She became active, she's healthy, she's mobile. Her last uh, creatinine level was about 368 and um, she's having a better life now. She still undergoes hemodialysis. Well, I have no words to explain what's happening, but it is happening and most of my research cases are getting better and healthier with a wonderful life ahead to face without fear. Nothing more to say. I believe in AK's capsules. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Dr. Para. Uh, next, we'll have question and answer sessions. For that, I'll invite uh, Dr. Lai, uh, Dr. Para, and our Professor AK. You can field questions on the two topics that we covered uh, from the time we started. But before we actually go on to the question and answer, session, a couple of announcements, very important. Uh, can I call upon Mr. Balan? Mr. Balan, G.K. Balan. Now please remember the face over there. Okay, Mr. G.K. Balan. This is very important. Let's not uh, fail this. You've got to check out from your room by 1 o'clock and before 1.30, you've got to hand your keys to Mr. Balan. Uh, okay. Okay, so correction. Go and get the keys after the next session. By one, you should return the key to Mr. Balan. Is that clear? And because of the late coming, you know, which we could have been helped, but we didn't do much about it, we have to shuffle some of these schedules for the next session, all right? So our break will be, our break for, is only for 10 minutes after the question and answer sessions. We'll probably have about 10 minutes, all right? And then some of the sessions, uh, you go for lunch after handing over your keys at one, and you'll be back here by two o'clock. So probably one of the last sessions for this up this morning will be shifted back to two o'clock, 
and we will try to finish it by five. So is that clear? Important keys. You go and collect your, your bags and and your you know from your room and get your keys to Mr. Balan. Okay, next session starts at two thirty. So have quick lunch and be back by two. So with that, uh, can we have the question and answer sessions? Those who wish to ask, we'll fill a few questions, maybe three. Please come forward to the mic and uh, ask your questions. And you can, if you wish, you can direct the questions to the three panelists. Dr. Lime, uh, Dr. Farah, ma'am. Hello. Uh, Speak louder, please. Yeah. Hello, I'm Dr. Sen. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Dr. Farah, this lady with SLE, is she continuing on immunosuppressant therapies? Uh, or any other medication, any dietary uh, restrictions while she's on uh, this treatment as well as hemodialysis? Uma is, has to continue AK capsules because it has a catalyst effect on her immune system. Is she on immunosuppressants as well? No, she's not. She's, she's not on, on hemodialysis. Only. Professor's capsules, iron tablets. Okay. Period. Okay, thanks. Thank you. No. She's not on any other medication. Uh, medical capsules. Anything else? Pardon? Um, I'll ask Prof because it's his patient. She will do it in December. She will do it in December because her creatinine has been dropping from 500 now to 370. We are waiting it to drop further before we do the all the antibody anti-nuclear tests. Because she is not very long. Uma only one and a half years of treatment. And the, uh, we are using first the primary, uh, the primary endpoint as a kidney function and her general health and her hemoglobin first. We are looking at that first. When probably if she is going down further 370, her creatinine three, maybe 350, 300, 250, then we probably consider all the antibody. Okay? But she's healthy and happy. <laughs> Next question. Good morning, Doctor. My, doc, my question goes to Dr. Lai. Uh, it's not talking about... Uh, it's not talking about uh, good posture. Is it uh, breaking knuckles is a good habit or bad habit? <laughs> um, Breaking a knuckle, actually, it doesn't give any <laughs> severe side effects, yeah, from my observation. It should be okay, because it won't, it's not so critical that it will affect the whole posture. <laughs> Thank you. How the AK drug uh, able to uh, heal? And uh, just now is the 